Hi YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure the TP-Link Archer VR2600 This is a VDSL, ADSL modem router and um, all you just need to do is to open any of your browser First of all you need to ensure that uh, your router, the TP-Link router is connected to your computer or via ethernet cable or you're connected wirelessly that you can find on the bottom of the router uh, and if you want to connect via ethernet cable use the little ethernet cable that came with the router plug it into the back of one of the LAN jack here and then connect it to your computer open your browser put 192.168.1.1 and that will bring you to the page it will first ask you to put in the password that came with it check for that on the bottom of the router as it's mentioned earlier on just on the bottom there's a bottom panel there or you can use the ethernet cable that came with it if you're using a laptop or a PC here uh, click on the quick setup and uh, if you are with TalkTalk Talk, directly with TalkTalk Talk, you're not going through any of the top party uh, what you can do here is to select the TalkTalk Talk, uh, option in the drop-down button and uh, if you're with BT you can select because it, I think the router should be able to automatically retrieve all the information from them but if you if TalkTalk Talk gives you your username and a password or BT or any of your provider then you'll probably be looking at other option now in the next phase to ask you to configure the uh, the wireless router that is uh, 2.4 gigahertz and the 5.0 gigahertz which is already the SSID is already there and the password that's the default one hit on next as you can here see here that uh, the connection is not established it's not configured not connecting uh, and it's asking me to reconfigure so in this case I'm not gonna go through that because I have my username to configure it myself I've already been given that through my service provider so let's roll back and uh, look for the uh, quick setup again and then select all the this time around <coughs> sorry excuse me and hit on next it will ask you to enable the VLAN ID I already know what that is that should be 101 and you select PPOE because this is a fiber setup and put in your username and password as provided by your ISP and hit on next it's pretty quick to have it set up actually and here is the uh, for the Wi-Fi I will leave the default there hit on next and then as you can see it's already established and it says finish so you just hit on the button finish and that is completely config configured now now you will see that it says internet is not configured what is it saying is that you can configure the DNS manually uh, if you're linking this to a particular website uh, you can do that this I'm going to show you in the next video and uh, I'm going to open a page now you'll see that it's already connected despite the fact that it's saying that um, disconnected or not connected if I open uh, a browser or a new page and search for bbc.co.uk as you can see I'm already connected or I can look for YouTube that is still gonna work fine because I'm connected to the 5.0 gigahertz frequency right now I just want to test YouTube to see if that is gonna come up there you go you can see it's already connected so you don't have